this monk has understood everything. The main fear he could have was to lose the most precious thing existing, compassion. And nowadays we are not in a labor camp, as far as I know. And our life is without any comparison with the life of that monk. So why can't we, why could not we, on a daily basis, work on our compassion, compassionate attitude towards all beings around us? If we understand that other sentient beings due to their mental afflictions, disturbed emotions, are acting in a way which might not always please us. But if we understand the reason for which they are acting in this way, why to be angry against them? We should pray for them instead. Why? Because when we act in a negative way, we create negative karma, which will bring us suffering in the future. How can we hope that somebody will experience pain in the future? We can only hope that people will achieve a state of happiness in the future. This is what we wish for ourselves. This is what we have to wish for the other. This is the basic of the Mahayana power. I wish that all beings find happiness and the root of happiness. Tamenich, you said as не го едини главни страх е билта да бо изгубил најго драгоцено ствар, то е сочутје. Тан данес ни смо в табуришчо и наше življење не моремо примерјати življењем тистега мениха. Закај потем не моремо својем сагданим življењем кој и ти сочутнега односа до других, до всех округ нас. Če razumemo, da se druga, druga čuteča bitja do nas ne obnašajo vedno tako, kot nam je všeč zato, pač zaradi svojih mentalnih zamračitev, zakaj bi se jezili na nje. Namesto tega moramo moliti za nje. Če se razjezimo, vemo, da če se jezimo, ustvarjamo negativnosti, ki se bodo izrazile v prihodnosti. In tega si prav gotovo ne želimo za druge. To je osnova poti Mahajane. Želimo, da bi vsa bitja našla srečo in izvor sreče. If at the end of each day not only you are satisfied to have earned what you need to live, but you have also the satisfaction to have found the way to help the others to be in peace, to be happy. This is of much greater value. This gives a feeling which is incomparable with earning when you can give, when you know that what you have done has helped other sentient beings, eventually saved life to other sentient beings, but without to come to that point, it, if you can make one person every day to understand the benefit of helping, the benefit of, be, of being a kind person, the benefit of practicing an ethical path, you have made your day. You have achieved something important in that day. Ч 
če na koncu dneva niste samo zadovoljni s svojim zaslužkom, ki ga potrebujete za življenje, tam več tudi s tem, da ste drugim podelili mir, srečo, to je to veliko več vredno. Če ste samo zelo je veliko je vredno, če nekomu vsak dan pomagate, če nekom obitju rešite življenje, ali pa vsaj, če eni osebi na dan predstavite, kako pomembno je pomagati drugim, biti prijazen do drugih, potem ste tistega dne dosegli nekaj pomembnega. There is not one day, actually, if we look carefully, during which we cannot be beneficial for the others, if we have the motivation to benefit. Someday we can help directly. You can give something to somebody who needs, you can offer comfort, you can offer advices, you can offer a smile, you can offer a piece of happiness to somebody. If you cannot do that directly because you are not immediately in contact with other people, you can pray, you can generate wishes of happiness for the others. And along with the prayer of happiness for the others, you work on developing your own mind. You meditate, you recite some mantras, you apply some visualizations, it creates causes for you to progress. And through your progress, you will be able to help more beings. So, I hear sometimes also some persons say, well, through my job, I, I cannot really help many people. It's not because your job immediately is not helping physically somebody that you cannot help the others. You can help the others in many ways, starting by improving your own mind. If you improve that mind which wish to help the others, you progress towards helping the others. You help the others at the end. So even if you spend a whole day in a retreat, in a cave somewhere, it doesn't mean you don't like the world and you are escaping the world. You make your mind ready to help as efficiently as possible, as many beings as possible, as quickly as possible. Uh, Sometimes people say, well, these people who go uh, in a cave for um, uh, 20 years, they are selfish because they just go and work on their own minds. Yes, but why are they working for their own mind, on their own mind? It is not for their own mind, it is on their own mind, for the benefit of their own. There are many different ways to work on the mind. We can work on the mind on a daily basis, if we feel so, or in a retreat. The end will be the same. The, the end is to reach enlightenment, to reach spiritual achievements, wisdom, to help as many beings as possible. <coughs> 